Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So now I must uh, cope uh, with not only with uh, uh, this presentation, but with Yano's uh, standard, Yanni's standard, and also the video. And uh, and the, I'm between you and the uh, uh, coffee break, so I'll try to do my my best. Uh, I will I will start. Uh, uh, I will talk uh, uh, today. Uh, mainly or only about the one of the components of the OpenAI project. Ian has already mentioned that we have three main components, so I will talk mainly about the human component, the human network of, of OpenAI. And at the beginning, like, uh, like uh, on the book of the books, at the beginning there were 38 partners from uh, 27 very diverse uh, uh, European countries uh, culturally, uh, on, on traditions, on languages, etc., and also very different on, on open access activity levels and, and traditions. So, uh, and that's uh, uh, why also uh, Open Air is really a, a European uh, uh, project because we, uh, I think, we made a, a strength out of these challenges of getting all these, pe all these people together, and this is the a photo of uh, the kickoff meeting of uh, Open Air in, in, uh, in Athens, all these people together, to, uh, to uh, as, uh, as written on, on our description of work, to uh, deliver an electronic infrastructure that would help European Commission to implement his, uh, 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 his uh, policies. But I think we can say it in a much, uh, uh, probably better way. Uh, we we want we were there. Uh, uh, we we got together in Athens to really to create this uh, open knowledge infrastructure for for, for Europe. Uh, and uh, we we did this we we did this uh, through this uh, participatory, participatory design. So through networking. So uh, one of the main components of, uh, of uh, the Open Air project uh, since the beginning was this uh, building of support structures and, and tools that will facilitate uh, 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 the collection and deposition of uh, FP7 uh, uh, content, funded content in the Open Air infrastructure. Uh, as the time goes by, and uh, also Yanis uh, already mentioned, our scope and our ambition uh, 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 is getting bigger, but uh, uh, this is this this was our original vision, and and we we uh, we uh, uh, the strategy was to to do that mainly through uh, uh, two two tools, one or two strategies. One was to create an European help desk system, and I will talk a little bit about it, and the other one is also to to liaise with uh, all the, the open access uh, activities that were already going on in Europe, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, with different levels of activities, with different uh, uh, strategies or, or, or with different actors. But uh, 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 when we started uh, uh, in most European countries, there are already uh, some level of uh, open access activity. So. Uh, we, we had uh, uh, to face, uh, uh, since the beginning, some uh, challenges, and I probably can, can uh, uh, sum, uh, sum up those in two main points. One is to, to bring together very different stakeholders, so uh, uh, research institutions, uh, uh, researchers, uh, uh, research administrators, uh, libraries, repository managers, uh, uh, open access journal publishers, etc., etc., and uh, and also uh, uh, from uh, they are not diverse on their views and uh, on their perspective, but also from uh, from uh, uh, there is a big diversity also on on, uh, on language, on the geographical, cultural language and also, of course, disciplinary uh, 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 point of view. So we have uh, really a very diverse uh, 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 landscape that we aim to, to, in a way, to unify and to, to get together for promoting uh, this vision for, for open science. So, and, and the strategy, as Ian uh, also mentioned, was to, to uh, uh, to create a network structure that uh, uh, covers all uh, the, the European uh, member states, and uh, again, this is this was the the, the, the beginning of Open Air. So now we go beyond this so on Open Air Plus. Our our uh, repository, our network, our human network is bigger than than uh, this one, and uh, and we also for for coordination purposes. 
we and uh, to avoid some uh, other political uh, probably uh, problems we just divided in north south uh, east and west uh, and and uh, and for each of these regions there is a, a member of the coordination team that uh, uh, that uh, uh, works together and closely with uh, with the, the national uh, uh, open access desks uh, at at uh, at, the, at the country level so in, in each country, so in, on the 27 countries, we, we establish a, a, a national open access desk. Uh, 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 there are very, also very different uh, types of organization. In most cases, there will be universities, but there are also other types of, uh, of uh, organizations. For instance, we have also funders and, uh, and, uh, and other types of, of, uh, of uh, organizations. And, uh, but, and also with uh, a very different uh, involvement and activities on open access. But most of them, and that's a, a very important point, they uh, uh, the, their connection to, to, to open access to, and to the, uh, to the local uh, reality was already uh, very strong before open air. So we are not only connecting uh, 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 the, the 27 countries uh, or the 27 participating countries to open air, we are really uh, connecting uh, open air with uh, the open access activities that are going on on those, uh, on those countries. And, uh, and one of the main uh, 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 results of this network is an, an help desk system that uh, is available for anyone Euro in Europe to, to use. Uh, on these uh, 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 years, we have collected uh, 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 a relevant number of questions already. Uh, I'm just showing the, the, the origin of uh, uh, those questions. So uh, all, again, we have a, a big uh, diversity on the origin and the, on, on the, of the questions that are uh, inserted on the help desk. And also, uh, uh, the help desk addresses uh, several uh, the several stakeholders. So uh, we have uh, one of the main stakeholders that uh, used the help desk during this period was repository managers, but. Uh, if we uh, uh, if we uh, look more closely uh, to the questions that were initially uh, classified as general questions, because uh, they are really probably distributed by uh, several other categories, and mainly they will be uh, research general. Uh, they should be classified in general uh, uh, research as general questions because most of those questions come uh, really from uh, from researchers, and. Uh, not not only we have uh, we have this tool that is the the, the help desk system, but we have developed uh, 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 different information resources that are collected in the open air portal, and uh, they are uh, they have proven to be very useful. So we have uh, national uh, information pages for for each European country. We have. Uh, uh, specific pages uh, uh, aimed at different stakeholders to researchers, uh, repository managers, etc. We have uh, FAQs and we have several uh, guides or toolkits for, for the, the NOAAs, for researchers, for research institutions, etc. And uh, if we look at the usage of those resources, we are now, sp we are here speaking of more than 10,000 views of all of these, uh, of each of these uh, 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 FAQs and uh, so uh, copyright uh, and questions of license to publish uh, comes, uh, comes I uh, here but then and it's very interesting to see that the, the FAQs that are more used afterwards are really very basic questions about uh, what uh, open access and repositories are uh, about. Uh, and. Uh, also uh, related with the guides, we have also a, a big uh, 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 volume of usage, uh, uh, especially from uh, the, the guide for researchers and the, uh, the, the guide for repository managers. And during the project, one of the very important uh, things uh, uh, that we have made is that we need to share experience and knowledge. We, we need to, to make sure that every NOAA in, in each uh, country uh, has the, the capacity to, to, to reply and to, and to promote open air at, at local level. So we have uh, um, uh, used every opportunity, not only uh, we do regular uh, um, uh, 
Skype or video conferencing meetings, but we have used all, every opportunity to get together. And uh, this uh, last picture is, is from our last uh, meeting uh, just yesterday, where we have, have uh, uh, um, discussed uh, uh, the current situation and also the, 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 the future perspectives on Open Air and Open Air Plus. Uh, another very important area is uh, this uh, area of uh, uh, not only uh, 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 supporting uh, uh, researchers, but also uh, repositories and repository managers. And uh, uh, to, make, uh, uh, to make researchers' life uh, easier so that uh, by depositing in one of uh, a repository, they are immediately uh, complying with requirements from the EC. So we have uh, uh, the, uh, make this activity uh, mainly to three, uh, 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 by in three ways, by developing guidelines for content providers, by, by uh, uh, promoting information and training, and we have done several training sessions also uh, in face-to-face -face and, and by, by webinars and other uh, uh, remote uh, training uh, uh, strategies, and also by developing uh, tools. Uh, so the, the, the guidelines that we have uh, uh, developed uh, were intended to be very lightweight uh, guidelines, so very lightweight requirements, not to impose uh, 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 a huge amount of, uh, of work on repository managers. So, and because of that, we, we needed to, to build uh, uh, them as a supplementary and built upon the driver guidelines that already existed instead of uh, starting to create from scratch another set of guidelines. The first version of the guidelines were, was available on July 2010 and just about a couple of weeks ago, uh, or three weeks ago, the, 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 the new version, the version 2.0 was uh, released. And on this version, and I think this is also important to mention, I, I think uh, Ian has already uh, 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 touched that point, we, uh, we are not longer sub only supporting uh, individual uh, data providers, but now we are supporting aggregators. So for instance, we, uh, uh, we are, are looking forward to, to see some countries that have uh, still a l uh, kind of low uh, level of uh, open air uh, compliant repositories to, uh, to reach very quickly a high level because they will do it not at the individual repository, uh, uh, on each individual repository, but at uh, the level of national uh, portals. And, uh, and on these uh, uh, guidelines, we also wanted to address this need to, uh, and this is a need that uh, now is even more important with, with uh, the policy that was announced in, Ju in July. This need to, to, uh, to make conver uh, the, the efforts convergent between what are the, the efforts at the European level and, and at also at national levels. So. Uh, we want to create a, a generic way to, 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 uh, to describe project information and, and founder information. So by, by using, using a solution that can be all, uh, used not only for describing uh, European funded projects, but uh, projects founded by any founder in Europe. So the same requirements will apply for, for repository managers, we'll have to, to use the same approach to, to comply with uh, the EC uh, policy, but also with uh, local uh, national uh, policies. And that this is also a very <coughs> important point. And finally, we have developed uh, add-ons for the most common repository uh, 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 platforms. So there are add-ons for DSpace and ePrints, and uh, uh, it's a pleasure to, to, to announce that uh, on ePrints 3.0 that will be released uh, soon in December, uh, open air compliance is built in in the code. So there will be no need for a, an add-on. So uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the this space uh, version will be uh, born open air compliant. And I think that's uh, uh, an important achievement too. And uh, um, there is a picture out of the place, I think. Uh, that's, uh, regarding dissemination and outreach, uh, we have also done a lot of dissemination and outreach. That's one of the major tasks of the, the, of the NOAAs in each country and also uh, the European uh, the coordination team. 
So we have made, on the last couple of years, we have made more than 200 presentations of open air, and uh, we have contacted more than 2,000 projects. We have, uh, I must admit that uh, the reply rate is not so high as we would expect, so we just got probably a reply rate of uh, around 20% from projects, but we have contacted more than 2,000 projects, and from the presentations, if, you, if we look at it from a, uh, uh, both a, a regional and a stakeholder perspective, you will see that across all regions, uh, the, 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 the stakeholders that were approached uh, more frequently were researchers and repository managers, and I think that's a, a right strategy. And, but of course, it, will also, it is also very important that we have addressed policy maker and, and research administrators because they are also very important stakeholders for our success. But uh, uh, during this period, we also uh, encounter problems on getting all this, uh, uh, all this together. And the main problems is that uh, the, 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 the policy as we knew it at, until now was really a weak mandate because there was no, no carrots and no sticks. So uh, uh, you need at least one, probably we need bo you need both, but for sure you need at, le at least one. And, uh, uh, and the, 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 the FP7 uh, 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 pilot was really uh, uh, lacking uh, one or another. And, uh, and so we have already uh, uh, good news that uh, the default for uh, Horizon 2020 will be different and I, and I think it, will, it is very important that uh, compliance mechanisms are built into the, 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 the details of the policy and so that the, the carrots and the sticks are, are built into the details of the, of the policy. And uh, we yes, we, uh, another problem that uh, uh, some of those, of, this, of those problems were problems that were very important at the beginning of the project and, we, uh, and things uh, begin to, to change and to, to get better uh, as time uh, uh, went on. So, for instance, Yanis just mentioned that uh, we are probably the, the only project that have access to, to some European Commission databases, but uh, that was not the case for, uh, for a long time. So we had lots of problems, for instance, to know which projects were have the, the special clause 39, so which, uh, which was the universe that we should address to. So there was a lack of information from the EC. There was uh, 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 also kind of a, a low uh, awareness, uh, especially at the beginning, of uh, and involvement from both project officers, project coordinators, and also researchers. And because this, kind of, this is uh, uh, or should be a kind of a cascade so uh, uh, that uh, the information about uh, open air and special clause 39 should flow from the project uh, officers through, through the, uh, to the researchers and not, uh, it, it was not always the case. And uh, also in some uh, countries, we have a, a low or slow in, uh, uh, involvement of the repository community, and in some others, uh, we have uh, this approach to, to solve not by, by, uh, by uh, each individual repository, but at national level. But uh, despite these problems, I think we have very good results, and very good results in, 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 uh, in, uh, 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 in three dimensions. So on implementing the, the, the uh, EC and RC policies on, uh, on the o overall open access situation in Europe and also uh, uh, the, the open air network per, per se. So, uh, as also Yanis already presented, we have uh, 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 now uh, collected 40, uh, more, more than 40,000 uh, FP7 uh, uh, um, reference to public to uh, reference to fp7 publications from those uh, about 4000 come from institution repositories uh, about uh, a little bit less than 400 from open access journals uh, uh, around uh, 8000 from subject uh, and disciplinary repositories and uh, almost 1000 uh, were claimed in the portal and we have seen especially on this last point on claiming in the portal I think in all the, in all the other uh, uh, sets, but especially on this last point, we have seen a, a, a significant increase in the last, uh, uh, in, in the last uh, month or so. Uh, regarding uh, repositories, this is a picture of the, that uh, tries to represent, because I, 
I think the, the, the absolute numbers are not uh, uh, so important here, but try to represent the percentage of open air compatible repositories by country, and this is compared with open door database. And this is not a good comparis comparison because not all uh, open door reg registered uh, repositories are meant to be open air compliant. So I have another picture that compares uh, open air uh, 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 compatible repositories with driver repositories. And that's uh, 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 probably not also a, a, a complete, uh, 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 the most accurate picture because probably there are some repositories that should be open air or could be open air compliant that are uh, not yet registered on drivers. So the truth probably is in the middle of these two uh, slides. But as, as you can see, uh, as, as the bluer ones are the, the, the countries that are already, uh, that have already a very high, and we have already some 100% uh, or close to 100% countries, and we have some low countries, and, but uh, again, as I already mentioned, some of the lower countries are countries that will become probably uh, almost 100% compliant from, from, uh, from, uh, from the day to the night because they will, because they will be at the national uh, uh, level. Uh, regarding uh, open access in Europe, uh, of course, not all this was because of open air or only because of open air, but I think we can claim and uh, rightfully claim uh, uh, an important part on, on, on these results, on, on, the, on the growing number of repositories and, and of course on open air compliant repositories in Europe, on the growing number of institutional and national open access initiatives and policy, and, on, and I think this is a clear effect and uh, not, uh, not uh, only because uh, 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 the commissioner said that he was, she was a firm believer on open access. I think the number of firm believers of open access has really uh, been increasing in, in Europe and as, uh, uh, elsewhere, but I think uh, open air has gave uh, an important contribution uh, to this. So, uh, and finally, I think one of the uh, uh, very good results from this project is really our network. It's a network that, that share a common vision, uh, this common vision of opening science in Europe, and a network that uh, shares experience, expertise, information, and support at a truly uh, 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 European scale, so involving each and every European country, and now uh, from the member states of EU and now, and now beyond, on this common vision of opening science to Europe. So, I think, uh, uh, in conclusion, and uh, I think this uh, probably uh, sums up well the, the, the spirit of open air, that is the same spirit of uh, the, the, the inventors of the web, and is the same spirit of the people like Jean-Claude Guedon get gathered together in, in, uh, in Budapest and dream in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, um, in, in uh, connecting the world in a common intellectual dialogue. And all this is possible because we uh, join the dots, because network is our power. Thank you.